I just spent two grand on this whole new setup. I fully understand this is ridiculous, but I haven't looked at the specs yet. So let's watch the main video and see what comes with it. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. For as long as people have walked the earth, they've wondered how to fly. We have spent more than a decade crafting tools for dreamers. Now we're going one step beyond with an immersive experience unlike Can this guy's world. voice get any lower? Introducing Deeper? JI FPV. Mm. <laughs> Love that mask in transition. The world's first ready to fly FPV drone that lets users of any skill level feel the thrill oh. of immersive. <laughs> I feel super nerdy that I'm like I'm geeking out about this. We've also revolutionized the FPV this? experience. I ordered this too. I'm so looking forward to that. AI motion controller, a compact device that enables ultra intuitive flight based purely on hand. You know what? One sec. This, this is my current controller. It's the Tyranix QX7. Look at the size of that. If you can have a controller that's literally that size. Trying to pack this, and this is heavy as well. Look at the size of the battery. That's the battery. Get rid of that. With this standard remote controller, three distinct flight modes. That remote is also tiny. Options for anyone to fly FPV. Start with N mode. Three modes. Immersive experience with traditional flight controls. Okay. Beautiful. S Fewer crashes. Simplifies FPV controls for an exciting hybrid flight. Interesting. I feel like that's going to be the mode that everyone goes to once they've crashed their drone on the next mode. Activate in mode to unlock unlimited flight controls. Now the only Dude, you're going to see so many crashes in this mode. It's going to be mad. These are your skills and imagination. Speaking of, I'll be creating and making a like a transition pack available for FPV transitions, so be on the lookout for that soon. Emergency brake and hover with one tap to what? stop and hover in place. That is huge. So one of the biggest issues I was thinking about this, or bigger for beginners, one of the bigger issues with an FPV drone is trying to catch it once you're done shooting because you then have to take the goggles off while still controlling it in hover mode and then try and catch it but brake mode just eliminates that not to mention that eliminates the fact that you know if you're about to crash you can just hit that the return to home button will bring the drone back automatically to its starting location intelligent mode is always good to have the look of that just looks so cool massive batteries So 810p, 120 frames per second. Okay, 810p, so when you're thinking about quality, image quality, so just below 1080, so between 720 and 1080. High bit rate of 50 megabytes per second. God, get this to me right now. features a robust modular design. This, you're gonna crash this drone, so I actually need to see if they have the parts available. I'll check that after watching the rest of this to see if you can, like, if you break something, if you can buy it and then just um, fix it yourself. The fully integrated camera records every breathtaking 4K 60p. Thanks to a super wide one. Johnny FPV for sure. Wait, 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 wait. 150 degrees? 150 degrees field of view. I tried cranking up my simulator last night to 130 something, and it was like everything seems so warped. What is this gonna look like? Uh integrated rock steady technology. I imagine that's gonna be all digital as opposed to having its own gimbal inside, but Thanks to integrated rock steady technology. Looks amazing though. <laughs> Why am I so excited? Those blue lights. FPV. 
Ivy. Oh, dude. I can't wait until that arrives. Okay. Let's look at um, what you can buy, like the parts for it. Okay, so you can buy props separately. You can buy arm braces. Are those replacement braces? Oh, enhance. That's probably a good idea to buy those, actually. Landing gear, maybe. You can buy a new gimbal camera. Yeah, so somewhat of a modular design to be able to fix. That's one of the best things about normal FPV is that you should be, well, should be building your own drone so you know how to fix it when you break it. Dude, I am so excited for this to arrive. Okay, I'll do another video on like specific specs and the different accessories and stuff. But for this one, I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments if you are 100% getting this. This is mad. Oh my gosh. <laughs>